There it is, my friends. Check it out. What a behemoth. This is the all-metal 58-pound dozer from a company called RC Four-Wheel Drive. I'll leave a link in the video description box down below, of course. I did add my own stickers. I had them laying around. I know they're not the exact stickers uh, for this model, but I don't mind. An all-metal bulldozer is something I've been waiting for for a long time at the studio. Uh, definitely going to help me out at the YouTube Gold Mine. I need to get some stick time on this. And I thought on a beautiful day like today, even though it just rained yesterday, it's dried up enough, I'm going to get this dozer out in the muck, see how much power it has, and really see if the ripper works as well as I think, and if I can actually start getting some practice on uh, lowering the blade, doing some grading, learning how to tilt my blade properly, and uh, this way I can be more efficient when I go out to the mine and uh, get myself down to the gravel, get down to the pay dirt and start making some money because gosh, I sure have spent a lot of it uh, getting this mine up and on the go, but you know, that's the name of the game. You gotta spend a little uh, to make a little, basically, hopefully to make a lot. Okay, coming in. Now this bulldozer, check it out, I'm doing it with two fingers here. <laughs> because this bulldozer, let me turn off the pump so you can hear me, this bulldozer has two ESCs, one running each track. So if I push up on this uh, controller, that other track runs. If I push up on this side of the controller, this track runs. To move them both at the same time, like this, or if you want to turn it, now most people, including me, will be using two hands, but as you can see, this is how I would do it with one. Also, up and down, left and right on the controller here, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that pump on again. You can see here how the controls are set up from the factory. That's quite the throw on those rams. Okay. Also back here controls the ripper. Left and right on this side does the ripper. Very strong, it can push itself right off the ground. And then for the angle of the ripper is actually one of the uh, round switches up here, or dials I should say. This is changing the angle of the rip. Pretty cool, huh? Now this is a pretty inexpensive fly sky, uh, but at the same time, it does have a uh, uh, different screens on here. It is a touch screen. You can do everything very easy. It does allow you to mix, but it's a very, very simple radio. Overall, not too bad. I find it easy to use so far. Pump. Get this back up. Let's get to work. Oh yeah, one more feature people will wonder about. Can you do a directional blade? The answer is yes. This side of the radio also has one of those dials. When you use the dial, it changes it back and forth. It is just one-sided. So you can see this one hydraulic ram moves back and forth. The other side is just a pin. It's an adjustable screw that you can adjust the length right here. Hey, my kid disappeared behind the blade. There he is. Brrr, look up! <laughs> He's fine. What do you found there? We found string. Found a string. Oh, wow. Maybe we can use it for something. Yeah. Always recycle, reuse, and repurpose. Yeah. Yep. That would walk. He always says. That's exactly. Don't use it. We use it. Well said. It's subtle movements I want to learn with these controls, but having the two uh, tracks on individual sticks is a bit challenging. I may consider getting something like a saber tooth to help um, run both tracks on one stick. Wow, that thing just moves dirt. Holy cow, I gotta be careful. I'm gonna wreck the ramp. But at least I can uh, build a, a, a decent ramp for the loader now. 
Wow, the controls are confusing me. But that's what practice is all about, boy. Yep. You can use this for something. Hello. Hi. Is that Ninjago on your shirt? Yeah, watch this. Yeah. Whoa! Light. Green Ninja, that was pretty cool. Red Ninja. <laughs> Red Ninja. <laughs> cool. I gotta get back to dozing. I gotta learn how to rip now. Yeah, with the ripper? Yep. Yeah. And pull. This is not even at full throttle, this is just at quarter throttle. My wife is now gonna get me to do everything for gardening and I'm gonna be looking forward to it. What do you think, Morris? Good. Is that a ripped line or what? That's good. What are they for? Well, they were to get out the dozer tubes. <laughs> the what? The dozer tubes. <laughs> That's right, that is to get the dozer toots out. Yeah. Very well said, I like that. <laughs> That's where all the diesel fumes come out from the engine after the, the engine's done eating all the diesel, right? I love watching it rip into that soil. Super cool. Oh. Looks like I need to bring it up a little bit. That's about right. Having it set up the way they do so it's left and right, at least I can adjust the height of it as I go forward. On my last line, this way I can see if I can dig up this soil here. Basically in the cut I'm going to want to get down to about one foot. It's going to be one foot uh, overburden removal, which is a lot, you know. Actually, I might do one more rip right here. Well, let's just go ahead and start blading. Now I have close to zero experience with uh, bulldozers, but I'm going to angle the blade here. It's a little bit on the sensitive side. I love that there. And I imagine as I go forward and as I start to push dirt, I'll have to lift up depending on how much I'm uh, getting into the blade. Here we go. Yeah, it's eating, it's just eating right into it, which is a good thing. It's my inexperience that's showing right now. Yeah, that saber tooth would help. Dual sticks, very difficult to get forward pro properly, plus controlling the blade up and down. Excuses! I haven't had any problems pushing at all right now. And I'm going slow just because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> wow, I love it. It's just chewing through it, no problem.
So one thing I'm always careful about with these uh, tracked machines, because I also have the excavators from RC Four Wheel Drive, is uh, you don't want to get any rocks inside the tracks. It's just like on a full size, I imagine. Um, if you get a rock inside the track, it can really mess with the sprocket. So I always keep an ear out just in case I get a rock caught in there. You don't want to stretch out the pins. Adjusting the blade as I go. No loss of power at all as uh, the blade gets filled with soil. It's a great sign. I thought I was going to get it and just the sheer weight of this was going to make it difficult to use. Ripping at the same time. Morris, look at how much dirt it's pushing, bud. Whoa! <laughs> That's a lot, hey? That can push a whole Lego city. That could push a whole Lego city. Well said. Let's see if I can back blade here. That just means go over, put my blade down, and then just kind of drag it back and make a nice flat surface. That's what dad does on the racetrack with the full size loader there. Yeah, make it nice and flat so we can race on it. We should do some of that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there we go, man. I think these guys get a general idea of how this RC four wheel drive dozer actually works. Uh, the ripper works wonderfully. This ground is not like super firm or anything like that and it has rained uh, But you can see it's gone through this overburden very easy I'm gonna be able to get down to gravel and start doing some gold mining pretty soon. Yeah. Yep. Are you excited? Yep, I am. You gonna learn how to drive the dozer and make Papa proud? Yep. You can help me at the gold mine and earn, earn your keep around here, hey? I will. Just, you just right now you're just looking cute and and uh, saying one-liners that are pretty epic. <laughs> Today he's on the hush hush. That's okay. Well, I got the dozer down here. You guys want to find out more about it? Uh, leave uh, your comments down below. Uh, I'll leave information in the video description box about where I got it and all that fun stuff. And guys, until next time, get outside, have some fun with the hobby of RC, and we'll see you in the next episode um, of RC Adventures. Good boy. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Should we get him to drive down the hill? Yep. <laughs> You're my yes man today. I love it. -na 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 -na. Driving down the hill. Here we go. Whoa, I don't want to tip it. Sliding, that's okay. Gotta raise it up. That's as high as we got it. It's okay, we'll just push the <laughs> the boulder out of the way. What a beast. We can do that. I'm on my way.